Hello, I'm Seb Ford and not Johnny Chiodini. Welcome to Feedbackula, GameSpot's user engagement experiment that you are now, since watching this, contractually obliged to take part in. Congratulations, specimen. Please deposit saliva sample onto your keyboard now. Thank you. Let's spool up the comment centrifuge to separate the wise from the moronic. Let testing commence. Huh, that's not saliva. Anyway, initial results reveal that all subjects are aware of the recent launch of Halo 4, Master Chief's glorious return to the Xbox 360, as overseen by developer 343 Industries. And when presented with the imminent onset of fanboy dick-waving brought on solely by the release of a highly anticipated console exclusive, regular host Johnny Chiodini collapsed on the floor screaming, I won't do it, you can't make me, before convulsing heavily and relieving himself on the spot. The human mind can only take so much, he's at home relearning his ABCs at the moment, but expect him back next week fully recovered. <laughs> Nevertheless, specimens, the Halo 4 review did go live, and handsome all-American hero Chris Waters gave the sci-fi sequel a 9.0. Stellar combat mechanics, he cried, engrossing emotional story, he yelled, attractive environments, charismatic characters, an exceptional soundtrack, he postulated. He said a lot of stuff. Almost all of it positive. He really liked the game. And as if we could stop you, the onslaught of reader input began. A lot of love, a lot of hate. Where do we begin? Where's my needler gun? Game looks awesome still again. Halo 4 is a new higher level. Halo franchise is a titan gaming franchise. The other franchise are mere games. Come, my fellow gamers, we ride at midnight goes into stable to ready the horses. No riding when there's Halo to be played, but what does user Magnaxalorius reckon? God, this game looks so good! Why don't I have a 360 anymore? Slash cry. Magnaxalorius it melted? Is Rarad? You sold it for drug money? What's that I can't read minds? Right on, good question. I've not played the game yet, but I'm curious if FPS shooters are so easily pleased that the exact same gameplay can be presented back to them for over a decade. Personally, I'm burned out, and I still enjoy Half-Life 2 single-player more than the regurgitated junk that keeps getting spewed at us from Halo, COD, and the like. I miss Unreal Tournament. It was faster, more exciting, and the most pure multiplayer I've ever enjoyed. Too much of sci-fi in this game and its weapons. Smiley face. I'm not even going to touch multiplayer. I can't use my mic because as a girl, I get every turd burger harping on me and getting teabagged every time I get killed by a foul-mouthed 11 year old just isn't all that entertaining. Ah yes, first-person shooter syndrome, an affliction brought on by competitive online multiplayer that sees normal human beings turn into raging assholes that hate everybody. There isn't a gamer in the world that hasn't received an earful of verbal abuse by one of these mongers in the no-holds-barred arena of games like Halo or Call of Duty. And wouldn't you believe it, there lies the springboard for the biggest debate in the Halo 4 review comments. Hell no, Call of Duty 3's story was better than Halo 4's, period. Beaches of Normandy versus Space Ring Hyperweapon, good point. What sucks is that it looks like COD with the stupid sprint button and the crappy COD-style ranking system. So you're moaning that someone will be able to run away from you, making it harder for you to kill them? I'm sure you'll stay there and take the death like a man though, right? Elements of COD have come in, such as class systems and the like, but this is more being built on from Reach with a 343 take on it. So stop chugging on the haterade, bro, and living a nostalgia. This game is gonna be dope. Sorry, I grew up on Halo, eventually led on to COD. And honestly, I'm glad to say that Halo 4 really looks worthy of coming back to play again. Every COD release, same game, some new guns. Halo 4 is definitely changing a lot of up. I beat the campaign today and it was, in my opinion, the best Halo story ever. It was so good, it made me cry. Lame! 343 just copied Call of Duty. No creativity or anything. If I wanted to play Call of Duty, I would have bought Call of Duty. Halo is dead now. Halo is not dead, Kay. That game is banging. Halo came before COD. You are dumb. That means you are not smart. Hey! Ah, thanks for 
clearing that up, Ace Conqueror Champion, but he or she does make a good point. Halo Combat Evolved hit store shelves in 2001, a full two years ahead of Call of Duty, which debuted in late 2003. That's not to say Bungie, Treyarch, Infinity Ward or 343 Industries haven't been inspired by, modified or wholesale lifted ideas from one another over the past 11 years. Look anywhere in the creative industries and you'll see it happening. Sure, studios are trying to make something their own, but every time you spot a bit of franchise crossover, that's the game's designers going, hey, check out that cool game mechanic. These guys have hit on something that could really improve FPS games. Plus, where do you draw the line in that argument? Hey, in Call of Duty, you shoot bullets from your gun, and in Halo, you also shoot bullets from your gun. They must be copying each other. Ultimately, the designers and the publishers want to create the best experience possible that will please gamers the most, because that's the only way they make money. Moving on. Hold on, Johnny's left me some notes. It just says... Trollalolololololo... -lo -lo oh... So another boring Galo is out! Same crap GFX, same dated gameplay, same little children playing online lol! M Dollar clearly sponsorises G Dollar! It's only Xbox? F*** that you want to? Man, this gonna be the best game ever! At least until the next COD or Halo comes out! Smiley face wink! P.S. to all you haters! You noobs are so mad that P.S. no games ain't got no Halo 4! Why Sony even keep make the PS3 when everybody buys the best console ever, the Xbox 360? Why not you shut the f up, motherfucker? You f**ks know shit about gaming. We PC gamers know real gamer motherfuckers. Wait the f up, Sursler, and play on a real system. So many drones over a game that's on an eight-year-old system that controls like f**king shit and hasn't changed a day since the original. Most overrated shit of all time. Way to make gamers look like dead shit fucking Keep FPS to PC plus, you new f***ing losers. Oh my head. Brain. Ah. And with that deluge of insightful analysis on Halo, we draw this experiment to a close. Needless to say, specimens, the debate rages ever on over at the review page. Follow the link on screen now to check it out and throw in your two cents. I've been your temporary host, Seb Ford, and you can hassle me on Twitter at ReadySebiGo, or Johnny at Johnair, and don't forget to use the hashtag FeedBacular. He'll be back next week, by the way, it says so on my cheat sheet. Let's see. Johnny back next week. See you next time. Join the Navy!